Okay, let's see where I left off here. And how long is it going to take me to end up in another civil war? Which is surely going to happen. I think that's going to be the, my main issue these days, nowadays. The one faction in the, in the entire... Well, political sphere is going to screw me over. The optimates. And I did try to get rid of the, their leader, if I remember, by just sending him off to die on a diplomatic mission. I don't think that's going to save my ass, but... Let's see. Hey Paul, how's it going? Right, we took these. I need to somehow manage to take out Sparta. Yeah, that was the idea. To kick them out of the Greek peninsula and let them deal with the Scythians up there. I don't know what it is, but my... Oh. Opera browser doesn't want to do what it's supposed to. Give me a second. Yeah, there we go. I had to use two fleets to get that. And we did make uh, Epirus a client state. Now, how long that's gonna be a thing, I'm not sure. But if I do declare war on Sparta, they should follow. There should be a buffer in between me and them, at least. Yeah. We do still have this problem. That's your command. Hmm. I'm not gonna go after him. He should attack the settlement or something and die. Ready for but I do need to bring another army down here. Let's see. Right. Ready for orders. Ready for battle. Ready for orders. I'm gonna bring him down. Or that is here. So we can attack Pella. I'm gonna use this army to attack Sparta itself. Or that is the idea at least. Now everything else should be secure now. Let's see. Yeah, the British are fighting angst in amongst themselves. These guys declare war, but I pissed them out, if I remember. Yes, I'm moving an army down there, if I recall. Or I'm just... Yeah, I sat in there because these, these are probably going to declare war on me or something. Give me a second, I need to check the stream. We're just gonna play some some of the soundtrack in the background. Let's see.
Okay, that stream seems fine. Okay, everything's fine on that end. weather it's pretty hot it's above 30 degrees or almost 30 degrees during the day although it looks like it's gonna rain night at least tomorrow is gonna be sunny with some clouds but again 27 degrees celsius on sunday it's gonna be 30 monday 33 degrees jesus christ so yeah, pretty hot. I live in this area, in Illyria. Okay, let's build this up real quick. Two of those. Haven't seen rain in weeks. Eh. I mean, uh... I haven't had normal rain, like, you know, just raining during the day for a while. It's usually just a, like, a, like a storm, like 15 minutes of heavy rain, then it stops, which is not ideal either. This guy has five turns. The other one is in port. We're going to leave him in the port for now. And you are going to move here. I do need to get rid of this army before I attack Pella. This one as well. I guess you just stay in there for now. Let's see, I do need to check all of these. Right, and we need to send that guy off to die, hopefully. You. Who hates us the most? Lug. Whatever those ones are. No, Epirus hates us most. Let's send him over there anyway. Let's send his wife over there. As, eh. No, let, let her live. The weather is weird here. Like, even uh, you can't trust, like... Weather forecasts. You're not quite sure if it's gonna happen that way either way. So who knows? We might have rain next week. With, you know, you can never tell. Forecast changes like two or three times a day. You patrol. You. Okay, click on you. Right, I did say I'm gonna build a couple of armies and send them this way. Yeah, we can build two more armies. Yeah, that's gonna be the idea. Just send them up this way. After we deal with the Spartan bit here. They're sitting there. Okay, okay. I think we can build more priests as well. Yeah, two more. Okay, let's check where we need the priests. Make the most money. Put the priest there. The priest there. The priest there as well. Africa. I think we have one here. Okay, let's see. Morale, growth, replenishment, research rate. I think it's gonna give us more public order. 
Not really, so let's grab this one. For Africa. Here we already have a priest, Namibia. Have a priest, Libya. The second one is going to be here. Let's go with this one that's going to give us more morale. That's going to be the most critical here. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be like that. But loyalty for the other party is still a bit shit. Alright, maybe because I sent them off to a diplomatic mission. Most likely. Okay, let me check the buildings now. Fourteen turns. Yeah, I guess. Way to deal with the Optimates. I did send him on a diplomatic mission to one of the northern factions. Hopefully he dies. That means we are going to get screwed up here, but... Um, I kind of can't keep him in line, so fuck him. I think this playthrough is going to... I'm going to play this until I have... Too many diplomatic uh, problems. Place armies on there, the settlements. What do you mean? Doesn't really have a settlement. Yeah, he doesn't really have a settlement, does he? God. I even forgot that there's a button for suicide, to be honest. Yeah, he was an admiral. Okay, we've done that. Move the armies. And check the fleets. Upgrades as well. Let's go for public order. The regions the party controls. We can see that even. Or where does it tell you? Does it tell you on the, on the regions themselves? Probably missing something then. There probably is a way because you you kind of should know which regions they control, right? Let's see. Uh, I mean, I usually in a place. I mean, uh, I guess the fact that the things they control are going to be the ones that have ga governors in them. Makes sense, right? All right, uh, we need the these here. Right, let me check the buildings. Okay, public order font. Let's see who has the lowest public order. Okay, that's normal, normal. Twenty-three, thirty-two, twenty-three. Probably is I'm just missing it. I don't remember the political parties being this annoying, to be honest. Surely I'm missing something. Let's just uh, switch all these to the garrisons. Let's see. Okay, it's not there. It's not here. Baltics. 
Yeah, once we click on them, it doesn't really tell us what they control, to be honest. The map. Uh, right. Political po Okay, there we Oh, there we go. Nice. Thanks, man. Yeah, this is it. This is it. Well, this is gonna be fun. Gonna lose all Illyrian. And half of Africa again. Yeah, I, I never really go to this map, so I don't I forget about it. To be honest. I do not like placing armies on there. Just give them the armies. Something like that. Alright, because the parties are led by my faction members, they shouldn't revolt. No, I did have a faction member revolt as well. I will deal with that. When time comes. I mean, I'm, I'm eh, well. If I'm gonna conquer the whole room, it's gonna be it's gonna be a take. A, it's gonna take a while. I could also make these guys, uh, you know, skill them into uh, make them support my own faction. We'll see here. Uh, yeah, this one as well. Maintenance. Pretender for for ruling political party faction wide. I guess we want this one, right? Yeah, I think we want to grab that one. It's gonna help us out a little bit. Okay, maintenance upkeep. Okay, let's see if we can send someone on a diplomatic mission that's about it for now. For this turn. We cannot. Right, let me check all this. See if there might be something to do here. And again, we probably don't have the money, so let's just skip to, to the next turn. The, the remnants of the two factions of the destroy just run at us or something so we can get to Sparta. Taking out the Egyptians is going to be a pain in the ass, to be honest. Right, maybe I should move my armies to the other border. Yeah, Egypt is strong and they control the whole Middle East mostly. Yeah, fuck. I guess. Wait a minute. Fairly sure one of those guys at Pella only had an army, not both of them. Yeah, a person in this in my playthrough was extremely lucky I left them alive, to be honest, at the beginning. Should have knocked them out. So they're not a pain in the ass to this thing. But they did block Sparta, or at, well, at, Athens was uh, destroyed by Sparta early on, but they did block a, a Sparta from, like, conquering the, uh, the Greek Peninsula. 
of Balkans. So they they kind of help in the way. A patrician has acquired slave from Scythia. Naturally, the plebs view them with mistrust, and soon a crowd gathers before the home of the patrician, demanding he get rid of the foreigners. Man. Uh. I mean, why is there a button where you can say slaves are slaves, man? Does it freaking matter? Christian rank. Okay, this time didn't, didn't, haven't had much happen. I'm gonna have to deal with these manually, do I? Seems like it. Let's go for this guy first. This border is wide open. He yeah, has Sparta's all the way up in Ukraine. That's good for me because I can take out these. And then just leave them up there. It's Sarmatia. It's Scythia in this timeline. Maybe I should have recruited just a guy. Yeah, the, actually, yeah, that's a better idea. Move this guy back. We might need an army here, the, anyway. Then check the fleets, right? Do we have another fleet somewhere? I can't remember where, though. Let me check that real quick. Okay, so that one, that one. Yeah, there it is. You just stand there, actually. Not gonna have any problems down here anymore. Your next command. It is an honor. Maybe I should move one of these down here. Still bad. Hey, go on a diplomatic mission to these guys. They hate us. beat both of those armies with that one. But I knew, do you need to get rid of them so their fucking agent doesn't screw me over? Actually, we don't need it. Uh, the one, don't we? Yeah. Ah, sure, let's grab it. Why not? That's gonna get fixed up at some point, at least. Let's see. Right, the goods were stolen here. Wait a minute. Plus eight, plus seven. Now oh, let's go with that anyway. Okay, this will lack food for a long time. Maybe I should just keep sending around the shitty missions. Or they might die. Doesn't really screw me over in any way, they, we just get loyalty from it. Let me just check. What's school like here? Uh, well, you got nine grades of like pre high school. Middle school, elementary school, then four grades of high school. And you can't pick your classes like in America, I guess. It's really hard to do, I guess I'd say. 
couple of others. Let's see, let's schmooze the Egyptians a little while longer. And that's all our money. Okay, what? okay, we did grab that one for him. Okay, those are the all the ones we need. Like, uh, it's harder in the way because we need to learn a whole bunch of shit that's not really useful to what you're going for. Like an art technician, like I went for an art technician in high school and why do I need bio biology, physics, psychology, well, I guess you can uh, argue psychology, democracy, philosophy and psychology. But chemistry as well, really. We just now have uh, the school system changed from like the old school kind of communist way of learning shit. That might be a bit better now. How the fuck are these guys? You're getting full stacks. What? I mean, this is gonna be fun. Do I want to fight it though? Oh yes, I do. I don't want to lose that many troops. These old mercenaries? What the fuck are they? what? Yeah, the AI really gets a lot of cheats. What the? F and I thought that I saw, like, the guys only have, like, one unit. Then had the, then they had a full stack all of a sudden. I guess the only problem here is, here is if I'm not going to be able to, like, dis uh, retreat the fleet. Then I'm fucked, kind of. If the game didn't crash just now. Which it may have. Okay, never mind. There we go. Can I please tell me I can just disband things? Because this trash ain't gonna hold the walls. At least they only have ladders, I guess. Yeah, these ain't gonna hold the walls, no way. Oh, I already had that happen. I think I can find you the link to it as well. Give me a second. Actually, I wish YouTube had like shorts thing. You can uh, you can actually search it up on my YouTube with shorts. I did have a comp like half the fleet die because uh, they dis disembarked, but they didn't didn't disembark. <laughs> yeah, I'm, oh god, I'm gonna have to like only disembark three at a time so that doesn't happen again. Uh, let's uh, get all of the infantry, like... <laughs> it was real annoying, but real funny at the same time. Well, let's look at these ships. How the fuck do they work? Wait a minute. Uh, you just... Row away. Hopefully. Otherwise, this might suck. Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, they should have fixed this a long time ago, but it doesn't seem like they wanna at this point. And ready. Please tell me. I can't. Ah, shit. I guess uh, bring these guys this way. So can disembark them. Our reinforcements have arrived. It's gonna take these guys forever to get into the settlement. I'm not gonna flank him, there's no need. I'm gonna let them go into the settlement, then I'm gonna flank him through the city you know, city streets. Because they are they do have a lot of phalanx units. Heavy phalanx units is that. I'm hoping these guys uh, eh, under sixty. Wait, these are heavy melex melee ships. I kind of know how good these are on foot. Well, I guess we'll see. General, disembark. Legionary. Okay, you run this way real quick. Yeah, phalanxes in the streets are gonna be. We all knowing to deal with. And I even forgot to move some of these. Yeah, this is gonna be a problem. Uh, is how much shit we have on the field? We're not gonna. Sp we're not gonna get all the reinforcements in. So I get uh, I might as well just embark these as well. It's gonna suck if uh, the enemies can just take this one and you know win like that. Okay, you three go there. You four go here for now. Closer to go through here? What? Apparently not. I guess... Let's just choke him on those stairs, I guess. Please try to, I guess. Okay, let's get this one of these guys off the ships and see what kind of units they are. Crude and ready. Move out. You didn't I tell you to disembark? Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful oh, no. Ready for orders. Might be better to just keep him off. Citizen Hoplites! Double time! Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. I'd hope the AI doesn't know how to like go up here then drop down there. Could you get off the walls? You just could die. Wait a minute, are they, are they gonna bring the ballista with them? Don't tell me that's a thing. 
Surely not. No way. Yeah, path pathfinding in these games is always uh, amazing. Actually, let's bring these over here already. Okay, sh surely don't they, they don't bring the ballista with them. No way. Okay, yeah. It's... No. That's like... Well, they are m m marines, so I guess they're gonna be good. I hope so, at least. Come this way, come this way. Hope is a strategy. Of course it is. I hope they don't get stuck like this. What the? Come on. You can do it. It's not that hard. But you go this way. This is gonna be a slog. I need to like get them to drop, then like flank them somehow. Down here. Uh, pathfinding was never good in these games, to be honest. I don't know, brain part is right. I do love this. I have a two, three units on here, and it's still going down. Could you, could you just go up there? Okay, there we go. An entire unit has. An entire unit has What's up? How about you move? these up like that somehow unfortunately these guys are not going to be the buffed ones this is a shameful display oh god look 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 at this mess One of our units has used all its ammunition. For Rome. Which one of them is the fucking spread out one? Would you just... Come on, it's not that hard. Ah, oh, right, uh, we might have too much inf... Yeah, that, yeah, that might be a thing. Can't really disembark all your troops. You're gonna have too much infantry on the field. And these guys are gonna win against the infantry if, if I just keep them like that. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Okay, I'm gonna need two of you here for now. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Two of you come this way. Okay, that's the general that can't be attacked without any issue.
Why are they not firing their pill? And didn't I tell these guys to move? situation of the world where we're gonna face an economical uh, collapse that's what what's my opinion I mean we already are it's gonna be get even worse everything is gonna get more expensive that's gonna be easy they only have a can left outside the only problem with this is gonna be a real fucking slog to actually go to uh, not just the stock market, everything. Uh, if uh, I mean uh, the U the dollar is almost the same, uh, you know, cost the same as a uh, well, not cost the same, but uh, what's the word for it? It's almost equal to the euro, which is real bad. I mean, euro was always like forty cents a uh, dollar and forty cents or fifty something like that. Yeah, gas prices are insane. Uh, prices for everything are insane at this point. Especially us, like the normal people, like, we're fucked basically. I mean, the uh, price of milk here has doubled, the price of bread has... I think already doubled and going over as well, at this point. No, if you're in America, Biden. I mean, it's too old to be a president at this point, I'd say. Yeah, I just need to get these off. Oh no, cat versus cat versus infantry. What's gonna happen? Okay, there's their general. Let's kill him. And if the dollar, dollar does fail, we're all screwed. Which it well, very well might at this point. Okay, if, let's... Uh, let's encircle them. But it all smells a bit fishy. Like, first we have Corona, then uh, the US prints, what, 40% of all dollars ever printed in the last two, a year or two, or even more. I've seen numbers up to 80. Which, that can't be good, no way. Like, whose idea was that? It's my question. Yeah, he's blaming the whole world. <laughs> I mean, the politician, uh, like uh, the whole political system, is a kind of a joke. Like, if you look at democracy in back in the, this time period, like the Greeks and their democracy, because they invented it, it wasn't uh, like uh, the rule of the people, like. Or the will of the people or whatnot. It's always been the like people who have a shitload of money, they're in power. So like uh, the patricians who had uh, a lot of slaves were in power these in these in this era. It was never the, the average Jew like you and I. And there, all the companies have a ton of money. There, no one actually lo lost any money. They all became richer. You know, look at the stats of the 
all the top richest people they only got richer through the pandemic Seems to me it's a bit more orchestrated than anything else. Yeah, yeah, that's usually how it goes. Yeah, like, depending on uh, how poor your country is, like, it, it, there's corruption everywhere, but like, corruption in Germany is a bit more well hidden, I guess you'd say, you know? It's a bit less obvious because everyone has enough money to, like, you know, not really care about it. But in the poorer countries, we're screwed, like, Politicians take my like. Uh, there's a park here that was built for a million convertible marks, which is half a million euros, and it basically only has a gravel road and five benches. So like what? Ninety percent of the money was pocketed by who knows who. Politicians and companies who, so quote unquote, made that. Oh my god, god, fighting these can be... That's gonna suck. It's gonna take a million years. Unless I can... Unless I can just break their morale somehow. Yeah, I think people see now, like... What joke politics are. And politicians in general. There are a few that are good, but not that many. How about you break? Come on. There we go. Now, can I get these guys to go up the ladders here? That's, that's going to be my question here. I'm gonna try to get these up here so we can attack them from up there. Okay, they are actually ah, uh -huh, maybe. Okay, let's speed, up, speed this up. This is uh, this is one we just need to wait. Extra surprise! No, none of the marines actually died. I think Singapore is like what the, is it Singapore? This is non the most non-corrupt country these days because they just uh, imprisoned everyone who was corrupted and it shows how easy it is if just people uh, you know b don't like corruption as much. Maybe Finland too, I'm not quite sure. But one of my professors at college uh, mentioned Singapore, so that's why I picked them. You know, mentioned them. 402 kills, look at that. But it also depends on the people as well. If you're, like, if they nationally if the people themselves like corruption which is like a big uh, big thing i guess big problem like uh, here people don't like corruption but they do like corruption when the, the policeman like pulls them over in a car and then they, they can give them like 10 or 20 euros to like get them off the warning not a fine you know so that's the problem we have to change ourselves first before we can change the politicians, basically. I'm gonna still need to hunt those down. Our offer is fair and honorable. Look at this. All will be as we agree here. Okay, I'm not sure what's gonna happen if I do this, if I click on this, and I cannot save. My people will serve you with honor. Oh, this is fucking dumb. Strength. Their clients stayed on me, as is Epirus, but they are at war with each other. Okay, that's fine. The Germans. 
Like, there would be no corruption if people themselves were not uh, too easily corruptible, I guess. Yeah, the Germans are at war. Uh, well, uh, the British are even worse than them. The, the British are at war with each other, basically. The Iceni just uh, blew up and split into a million factions. When did Sparta get a fleet? Look at those two going for my army up there. Hmm. Maybe I should sit at the uh, Naïs sauce and just wait for him. Would be a better idea. Funny Greeks, yeah. The nest of the little philosophers and poets. Not all, it's, it is not always easy for the Senate to watch over the provincial governor. Someone like this man abuse the position. What should we do? Punishment. The diplomat was wounded. Diplomat betrayed me. Wounded. It's going to lock this time around. Even the game, yeah, look at that. We just need to, like... Expenditure... Can we... Where can we see that again? Right, so, uh, yeah, cr construction now. Yeah, we need to, like, go through the f settlements. Well, I guess Empire Maintenance uh, is kind of corruption. Yeah, I need to deploy these before I forget. Ready for battle. Attack! For really, game? I like the ten percent losses, but uh, well. Okay, now. So we're gonna have a rebellion here, probably. But let's go for Sacred Grove. Trains. Lady at the school. Let's go with Fort White Athens, to be honest. Ready for battle. Now let's look at these two. They're kind of fucked, but there's a lot of them. For How they allied with each other? They are not. But I think they're gonna join each other either way. Yep. At least their generals are kind of fucked. This should be easier than... ...than normally. Colosseum and Circus Maximus. I probably will. But uh, I think I just have a lot of political... Uh, ...public order issues now. At Rome, I think. I kind of waste all of my money on, like, uh, sending diplomats and political stuff at the moment. I have a, like... I need to upgrade every building in it, basically each faction, each province. For the most part. I can't really get around to it. Where? Okay, the reinforcements should come behind them, right? Ready for orders. Hopefully. Oh yeah, that's, that's funny. I had got half of Egypt from just sending diplomats in. That was, <laughs> that was something. Yeah, that's kind of centered. Doesn't really matter. 
Move these a little bit. Your orders. I'm actually gonna like move these back. I do want to flank with them. Okay, you guys. The middle one. I'm gonna get a general. Now let's see here. Very heavy phalanx. Very heavy, very heavy, very heavy. God fucking damn it, game. Yeah, I have a ton of cav as well. Ain't gonna save their ass, but still. Well, there's all the work to do. I actually have an exam tomorrow. Or final, you know, whatever the... Like semester final for a uh, class. But it's not that big of a deal. Well, tomorrow at 4 p.m. So I have a sh ton of time. I'm going to high school next year. We're just getting in into high school. I mean, uh... I wish I could go back to high school and elementary school, to be honest. Kind of loved it back then. Then again, I, I was an artist technician, so like by the fourth year, I was never in school and never doing anything. I mean, I was at school, but I wasn't in the classes. Where are you off to? Yeah, well, I don't I don't really understand why these are trickling in as such. Or maybe we don't just see them. We just don't see them, right? But that may be a thing. Yes, Gav. Charge. Charge into the infantry. What could possibly go wrong? One of our units has used all its ammunition. Yeah, I do love it when I see the enemy general just run into these... What was it at the beginning? Hannibal ran into the... Triarii at first? Or, or wait, it was just the city garrison, but still. Spearman. Look at that. Yeah, that's what you should do. Oh god, some of these are skirmish cab. Oh, that's gonna suck. Right, right, right. Um, shit. We'll turn that, turn them off. Stop them from firing a bit earlier. Let's wait for the second army to come in. Probably not gonna be able to catch these, so let's spread out a little bit. Do people there watch stuff on TikTok? E kind of, yes, sure. Definitely the younger generations more than the older ones. I don't personally watch a lot of TikTok, or mostly ever, to be honest. I'm not sure if I want to wait for the second wave to come in or charge him now. Well, I guess it's a lot easier to watch TikTok these days than, uh, like, what what we do before watch YouTube. You know, it's easier to just watch a couple of seconds of a video. I think I need to smash these before the other army comes in. 
good. Let me actually check what they have. Medium melee, not... Medium phalanx, medium phalanx, medium phalanx. Very heavy phalanx. There's only 64 of them though. And they should be, they should be easy to knock out. Yeah, the enemy always go for the baggage train and for the first cohort. Eagle cohort, that is. Which I'm fine with. I don't really care. Okay, those are broken. I'm just smash into those. Wait a minute. Funny how the enemy manages to encircle themselves somehow. Maybe you should deal with that. Yeah, they just slink through like, like I don't have any troops there or anything. It's always fun. Okay, their cav is coming in. That's not optimal. Okay, these guys are close enough. Let's see. In shock. Another, these other ones don't really matter. Just target that one guy for now. I'm gonna need these to form a line. Oh, no, 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 no. Run, 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 run. Orders? General! Evocati! Ready and waiting. Orders? General! Quickly now! Ready and waiting. Oh, miss mother to us all! Legionary cohort! Your orders. Hoping these guys break before the rest of the, the other army comes in. Rocks on his face. Yeah, the slings were the or less the number one weapon for the most part. That's what uh, like most movies and uh, historians miss. Even the legionaries use slings, not just peel them. Come on, break you bastards! Link. They're gonna attack my general, are they? Come on, just break. You just pass this way. Okay, that's not ideal. Okay, now you... You go this way. You... You here, to the other way. Oh, it's not just Hollywood, though. It's just, I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but still. I 
I mean, like the historical YouTuber, like it doesn't really get mentioned. Because, you know, slings are not that interesting, to be honest. Who oh, they throw rocks at people. And it's always better to have a professional army of slingers, I guess. Just kill those. What's this here? A duration of spearmen? The battle is turning in our favor. Yes. Rounding them is not gonna be ideal, but uh much I can do. Look at that. I did kill their generals at least, so they should break easily. I do need to hunt some of these down. South Korea? Oh, come on. Asia in general is a lot... Uh, like I said, the, the history is a lot different than uh, Europe. Much more... Well, uh, less stupid wars, I guess I'd say. Yeah, these were used in Europe as well. The Middle Ages or something. I mean, it's not a bad idea. Yeah, that thing, that thing was used in Europe as well. against samurai in close formation uh, everything was effective against samurai because they didn't use shields any kind of missile weapon I guess you would say which is beyond me like you invade someone else who uses you know uses a lot of uh, a lot of range stuff Surely you'd like, you know, come off with a, like a defense against it or something. Granted, it would be dishonorable, right? Okay, two armies defeated, almost no losses. Or negligible losses. Yeah, 253. 3,000 kills. Yeah, phalanxes usually just are shit on the field, to be honest. Unless you're using them. But even then... They're only good at holding the line. As soon as you attack with them, they start losing. It's time to be flanked. Your next command. Commander. 
At least the Spartans didn't join them. Okay, let me check something now. Client state. <laughs> My client states are war with each other. Yeah, look, the Britons are just at war with each other as well. Okay, let's see. They're at war with the Kimbros. I have little gain in wasting the day on you. What you say had better please. Really you have to give me money for that. Come, come, let me hear your talk. I warn you, I have no stomach for the meat. It is true. We glory. Yeah, the Britons are like a British today. That's true. Okay, let's go. Who else is at war with Sparta? The client state wars. Speak quickly and well. Speak ill. God. And your none will escape. Oh, yeah. oh, all oh, right. Oh, God. Breaking these is going to be pain in the ass. So much so, might even just uh, skip it for now. Oh, fuck. That's not good. Police reporting. Yes, none shall pass. Oh, the, wait. The army. Wait. Forming a blockade. Yeah, the army is in the water. England, Wales, Scotland, and Northern Ireland. Don't forget the Isle of Man. I kind of want to alter all this because it's going to be a pain in the ass to win. Let them cower before Rome. Might actually see if they want to attack me. Might be a better idea. Like that next turn. Hopefully, Epirus is not gonna declare war on me. Dear Overlord. At least I hope so. Let's see. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, it's separate. They already screwed me over once. And surely they won't screw me over again. No way. Actually, bring this fleet up here as well. I kind of want to just out resolve that. Those Spartans are gonna not never gonna break. Let's actually see what are the loss is gonna be. 83%. That's acceptable. For remaining troops of those no losses. We hunger for battle. Okay, it's the fort find, so that's what we want. Gotta look at Pergamon. Oh Jesus Christ! Look, look at that! Look at that! Look at these! I am gonna have to like bring like two or three fleets and three armies to take that if I ever do. <laughs> a rat! Look at that! They're just sitting there. There's a lot of these factions that are actually just. Sitting there doing fuck all. Which is kinda annoying to say the least. Greasy is scared us definitely. 
I am scared too of a civil war. Yeah, 45 influence. Uh, yeah, loyalty. Maybe you should just uh, keep sending their wives out and about them as well. Might be the better idea. How about you get a wife? Oh god, it's super hot here. Aviv, yes. A wife. Okay, we got the Mirage's Commander, Frost Warrior, and Military, military Legislation. I guess let's uh, sit them in there for a turn. Fleet reporting. These only these even didn't even take losses to be honest. You count this way. Is there nothing else? So many doves and pigeons inside. I mean it's like it's ten twenty here and it's still super hot. Might uh, we'll see what I mean. I just, I just run out of money doing the political stuff at the end. Now, hopefully, no one's gonna join the war with Sparta, so I can piece them out after I take Sparta. <laughs> so they stay up there with the Scythians, have fun with them. Let's see what they do. They're probably gonna. I offer this now because Look at that. Wish it. I may Does it count as a win if I make everyone a client state? <laughs> yeah, spending money. Yeah, it really is. It is schmoozing the other politicians so they don't, don't decide to rebel. It's funny, like, at this point, uh, the bigger threat here is uh, the enemy or, or my faction, like, uh, having secessions than the enemy just coming at me or declaring the, uh, well, the whole world declaring war on me. I can defend everything easily, for the most part. Although, I'm gonna have to send a couple of armies up to Britain at some point. What is wrong, but cowardly to accept a defeat. Well, isn't the uh, begging to become a client state even worse? Should be. Like submitting to a stronger power. God, the loading times can be long in this. No oh god. Minus 16 loyalty to all political parties. Yeah, that's what I needed. That's what I needed in life. Go find a reef. I mean, uh, having puppets in client states in this game is kind of really... Meh. I mean, no all total wars these days. You're just better off not having them at all. 
is like unlike in Hearts of Iron, having buffer state in between you and the enemy is kind of good. But here, nope. Let's check Sparta, Epirus. Look at that, they're allied with Sparta, but they didn't join the war. Oh, I love this. Yes. Okay, let's see the garrison of Sparta itself. Okay, I'm gonna fight this because it is Sparta. Yeah, they, uh, part of my family rebelled or joined the secessionists, so I do have some of them in another political party. Yeah, of course we're gonna fight in the field. Sparta has no walls, after all. Its men are her walls. Light Phalanx. Orders, your orders. Evocati, orders. Sons of Mars. Sons of Mars will be triumphant. Equities. Groups at the waiting ready. Battle group ready. Orders. Understood. Should just target the heavy, heavy ones. everything else Yeah, this uh, this one was in a fight as well, where I resolved a bunch of two battles with it. We took damage. What the fuck does this guy manage to make zero kills at this point? stick of axe. I mean, it's not like the Greeks didn't have melee weapons, but uh, yeah, they did get outclassed or out strategized, I guess, or out tactic at this point. Like the Romans did once they attacked Parthia. Ready for orders. No! 
We're almost went into a desert. On one foot and they got fucked. And then, then it took them a while to actually adjust. At that time it was kind of too late to conquer Parthion. Assassins later on. I mean, it's not like you can't flank a phalanx with a phalanx. That still, you know, is a thing. where you just take enemies prisoner when they start running like this so that actually they have to chase them all down Depends if a video like uh, blows up or not, or a live stream, I guess. For like 15 or more in the past month. Okay, just go this way. Come on. Usually it was like 10, 20 a month or something like that. Thanks for the sub. I mean, I do have to like make some different videos for YouTube. I think I'm just going to live stream to YouTube then uh, make like highlight videos or something like that. Later on. Just really to learn more about uh, editing videos or put some more time into it, I guess. I mean, just to do live streams and then the video that comes out is going to be edited. I'm going to have more time once I finish up college this year. And the last exam is on uh, Tuesday, 21st, right? I want friendly fire, casualty. But then what I used to get. Okay, now. Your sport, I want to become a client state. I will listen carefully to your words and then give judgment. Nope. Greetings, and now, business. God. My real, uh, real ability it went down, but it um, doesn't matter. At this point, they already hate us. I dislike my we are not known as patient. Come, come, let me hear you. Oh, again, we're gonna get the trade agreement with any of those up there. Am I always to restore statue of Zeus? With which German trading? <laughs> uh, one of these has a thing that's gonna give you extra public order, right? Uh, I can't remember which one. Okay, this one. I think there is another one, though. Right. 
roads yeah but that gives you i think it just gives you more uh trading money for us for a call yeah the colossus is right there looked much better in row one to be honest there's this here i think there's another like uh world wonder in this area i forgot which where it is exactly in the room too at least which which city has it but we got the statue of zeus everything costs a lot nowadays these days this one guy man this one guy how long am I going to get the series um You can see here, I guess. I think it's been like uh, 20 something streams each one three hours or so. The fully Roman Empire, yeah. I got stuck bogged down in. in, in well, at the beginning, uh, the ses sessionist I had, like a civil war I had, that slowed me down a lot. I had to reconquer Africa and this whole area, the Egyptian area. So that slowed me down a ton. Otherwise, I would have conquered all of this probably a long time ago. Yeah, Civil War is the bane of all Romans. Civil War every decade? I'm not quite sure. You can't avoid them. I think I avoided one of those. Am I just, uh... You know, getting everyone to love me? But at this point, like, you see, like... These control nothing, which makes zero sense to me, to be honest. And this guy controls everything. My hope is by sending him on a diplomatic mission, at some point he's just gonna get wrecked. A Cornelian. Africa still to this day is fucked. That is true. That's all our money again. Ready for orders. 
Oh, let's see here. Let's go for morale. Replenishment, I guess. Yeah, the two biggest parties don't have no one. And these guys who replaced the last secessionists have everything. Yeah, basically. Hopefully, hopefully I can get rid of this guy at some point. And I really did slow down because I'm... You know, I mean, I could, the problem is, like, if I go on a in a war, I'm gonna open up a lot of fronts. So if I go to Britain, I open up a war with the Kimbros or the Germans, the German, Germanic tribes over there. If I go with a war with them, I'm gonna open up a, a big ass front with all the rest of the Germans. And if I go to war with the Egyptians, that's going to be even worse. I think I'm going to need to like go off into Britain first, to be honest. Or uh, destroy the Kimbros. We can sh like uh, make that front line a bit shorter somewhat. But as you can see, I spend more time on politics than actual wars these days. That's how bad it's gotten. And more money. Famous war, that's pretty good. No oh god, pirates. They don't care about that. What the fuck's the problem here? They got food, they got public order. What the fuck? Everybody loves pirates, yes. I do want to play a little bit of pir uh, Sid Meier's Pirates. I might do that at some point. Still the whole navy. Yeah, basically. Commander. Never gonna finish off the Carthaginians when they got pirates showing up all the time. Keep these armies here for now. Controlling the regions. Commander, I don't care how ready for battle. Get the stakes up. See, I did have an idea. If I take these, sure, I should guess I should open up the map, maybe. Yeah, the idea would be to take Germania, right? 
like have a front line here should be a lot lot a lot more manageable than this whole area because this is wide open this this bit here and if I go to Britannia I like I don't, I don't have anywhere to pull troops from to be honest or armies from as I said That was from front line against Poland, yeah, pretty much. Ready for orders. Let's see, Julia, 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 all my family. God damn it. Julia, Julia, Julia. Optimates, Julii. Optimates, Cornelia, Junior. I need 87,000 to recruit them though. Actually, you know what? We're gonna have one turn of death. Or two actually, so I can recruit two generals that are not from my family. Then I'm gonna go to war with the Kimbros, knock them out. And hopefully I'm gonna... Right, I need to check the navies again. Uh, then I'm gonna... Maybe send a f couple of armies up north. To Britain. Because I always... I think they're gonna declare war on me and uh, attack me as soon as I move my troops out of there. Or out of the region. Most likely. <laughs> Granted, having a more optimate candidates would be a bad idea either. So we can know who's gonna succeed or s succeed. Your guy. High chance of civil war, look at that. Look at that. Provincial initiative. You, you bitch. So Roman, yeah, I need. Oh God! That may have been caused because. Uh... Yeah, that may have been caused because I upped the taxes. To be honest. Let's see what's going to happen with all these armies. I'm curious.
Oh, well, yeah, but I can't really get the armies on their territory fast enough at this point. I mean, I'm fairly sure it's just gonna start next turn. I mean, the likelihood is 41%. It's a bit lower. Hmm. Let me actually check something. Say it real quick, though. Cornelia, hire an optimate. Might be able to save this, to be honest. Look at his fucking face. Damn, he's disgusting. Like, by sending them on diplomatic missions, they'd lower it by quite a bit. Oh, God. These finally gave the senator. Amazing. all the money again. Right, let's check the fleets. These guys are in port, maybe stay outside. Alright, oh, they're starving. What do you wish of me? Your orders docking. Yeah, maybe I should have like looked up. Maybe there's a mod that actually like you know, make civil wars not a thing. Would really like that one, to be honest. You don't stay there, stay in Taurus, I guess. Easy in support. Okay, let's see what happens. That's not nice, Egypt, come on. At least they didn't break the trade agreement. That's more useful at least. We have had friendship. But now you must find your own feast. How treat yeah, the Irish? Don't like me no more. I mean, I say that as uh, you know, we have minus eighty with all, p or even more at this point, minus a hundred with all factions. By the Imperium only.
All oh, right, I forgot to unmute. It's gonna take a while to hunt these down. Let's see. 50% risk. Yeah, cutting armies over there is not gonna be easy to say the least. Surely I can schmooze them, right? Well enough, I do like the political system and Attila more than this one, to be honest. Expand the armies in the cities and recruit the army again, but in, I could just... I mean, around there, that's their stuff. To be honest, I got it. Okay. I don't want to mess with that any anymore. I'd rather just use this if I can. All right, I sent them on diplomatic missions. Of course, I can't do that. Yeah, that makes sense. Maybe we should have done that first. Let me check something here. No recruitment things. Let's get to feel the Mars there. And here, I guess. Sicily is gonna fall. Look the cost of them, Jesus Christ. Ready for battle. Set up the watch. It's gonna cost 100k to recruit another general. I'm gonna wait for that, to be honest. Uh, the others are already like politicians from my party. So that's why they cost zero. 
or already, you know, politicians from other parties. And the ones that are not, I have to hire. So that's the reason. Actually alive. So who knows, man, at this point. This look as I am surprised. I expected them to die at the beginning since they got squashed by the Egyptians and the other factions. They're still around for some reason, somehow. I mean, Epirus is still around because I didn't squash him in the beginning. Okay, one of them was executed. Let's see which one. Yeah, oh, fuck. It was the other one. Why can't I do this? Insufficient zeal. Wish we can zoom this out more, to be honest. Yeah, there's a ton of family members. I don't know which ones are which at this point. Okay, this guy is Julia. Junior, Julia. Let's recruit a Cornelia here and buy a mate. Okay, this guy definitely. At your command, to your duties, men. Look at that, I didn't even uh, upgrade the room to full. I did focus on Empire Mate, we just don't uh, have enough to be honest. I mean, this whole area is gonna rebel. I mean, we do earn 13, uh, 137,000 per turn, right? No. Three. Yes. So, like, money is not really an issue to be honest. The Civil War is the issue now. <laughs> They're getting out of it. Well, this. Ready for battle. Or better said, not getting into it.
All right, I forgot, I forgot about the pirates. Of course, they're gonna run away. Moving out. I might even end this series after this. Would be about time to like switch to Total War, Warhammer. Until I start playing uh, Attila with Imperium Praetorium mod with uh, Andrew. In a couple of weeks, hopefully. Because like all Total War games, it's only like really interesting at the beginning. Later on, once you get like really into it, it becomes a annoying to say the least. Partia. I'm not sure if they are alive. Drone cast campaigns in Partia. Well, yeah. Maybe I'm gonna be able to avoid the Civil War, look at that. Maybe, just maybe. Yeah, look at that. This guy joined the secessionists. Let's see if I can get these married off. Even though that doesn't really help me. Actually, it just hurts me, but still. Four percent. The 
so much for the pirates. Just in time as well. Four. We're gonna get one of those, that's for sure. And there, let's go with heavily armed one. Cat frack legions. Let me just check the public order, everything's fine it seems. Cannot build. Why then? Oh, maybe because this one is fourth point. Switch that. Wouldn't they pirates be people on small boats? Yep. Our maintenance. You can never really get the Empire maintenance that down, to be honest. Yeah, like I said, the money is not the problem. The problem is uh, all the upgrades like take so long to get finished. Like takes I think 16 turns or 18 turns for like one of the level four or level five upgrades, which is just insane. Should have looked at it. Like no, I'm pretty sure there is a mod that uh, disables civil wars. To be honest, except the first one or something like that. Okay, there's pretty much nothing else to research. Zero Empire maintenance on this. David Eight Tempera. That's fucking impressive. Mm. 
two years ago. Yeah, the mod got a lot of updates since then, so it might not be as easy as then. I mean, surely there is a way. For sure. It might be even here, something here that actually decreases maintenance. Yeah, libraries decrease maintenance, but not by a lot. Let's see here. And I do spec almost all my uh, l generals, governors, and uh, priests into my empire maintenance anyway. Doesn't look like there's a specific thing for it. Let's switch to a fortified garrison here. What? That's a bit weird. Upgrading rocks. Yes. That's what we do. Ready for orders. Rome needs good fighters. Mm, let's, uh, do I want all the infantry? Yeah, sure, let's get some spearmen. At your command. Oh, no, let's go full infantry. Fuck the spearmen. Avoided the civil war. Just barely. Do need to fix these up as well. And by that I mean send them off to get killed probably. Thank you. 
Right, we're gonna need a fishing wharf here. Maybe. Uh, maybe not. It would be funny if you got the... Uh, let's see what else. Yeah, this as well, so I can just snap up Alexandria itself, and that's about it. Or the Egyptians. Might be a good idea to just spend some uh, turns just upgrading shit, because there's a lot of stuff that needs upgrading. Since we're not at war with anyone, might as well. screens are well not loading screens but like end turn times are just getting all annoying at this point I guess that's a problem with all with all of these that nobody knows Which one of these I would want to go for, to be honest? Probably the Rome Nice still. This is gonna need more food. Which I can't really get here. I'll figure something out. upgrades Jesus Christ this is gonna take a while look at that 14 turns to upgrade Willing 
standing. I live to serve Rome. We, for the fleets, we do need night uh, night commander. Yeah, I've been to Switzerland. I don't say any other. Well, I don't count. I don't count the ex Yugoslavia countries as you know other countries. To be honest. Let's put a party rolling down. I haven't been anywhere else though. Well, I've been to Greece for the summer. Well, that's about it. Just park all our fleets in the uh, in ports somewhere. Police reporting. It is an honor to serve Rome. Okay, you need to go up there. The ship cannot go there. Police reporting. It is an honor to serve your orders. Ready for orders. So I have to worry about those while I just end turns. Yeah, I forgot about the politics. Uh, we'll see. Let's see. Fuck it, if a civil war erupts, can't really stop it, to be honest. Except it's gonna push us up to this again, probably. Which is gonna suck ass. It's been a year since you have. Well, I mean, we couldn't move anywhere because of Corona, right? Since 20, 2020, 2020, 2019, 2020, right? So not much uh, not surprising, I'd say. Even moving now or traveling anywhere is still war and an end to womanly peace. Most excellent. Ares favors us above all other races in battle. Let's see. Is Epper's gonna join them or me? Neither. Oh, what? Did they only have a fleet left? I expected more from them. I hate that when they just, you know, walk up into your lands. Like, fuck you, we're gonna stay there and be a threat. But they're not a client state anymore. Where's beat? Yeah, the game favors the AI. That's normal. I haven't had the armies like standing. I went to war with them, and I have an army stand in front of a city, and they just walk past them straight away. They, they literally don't care, which is real annoying. But not much we can do.
Would you go and die? That would be nice. Maybe I should have put him in command of our fleet and suicide him. That would be... Actually, that gives me a fucking idea. Uh, how do I change that again? Uh, replace... You know, that's candidate. Alright, he's wounded. It might be too late for that idea. He's gone done gaming and see you streaming. I have an idea how to get rid of this guy. I'm gonna place him in command of our fleet. And I'm gonna rush that fleet into the Spartans and let the commander die. Which means he's gonna die. Should work. Too bad I might still have a civil war, so I can manage that. Yeah, why didn't think of think of that before? Should have done that a long time ago. save up money we might need to recruit Commander, we cannot follow this order make haste journey completed it is a great and glorious thing to die for Rome Just remove as many as we can. Fuck it. Oh god. Ready, willing, and able. Who else? It is an honor to serve Rome. Save a little bit of money. Hopefully I can get him killed next turn. If the Civil War doesn't start. What's up Sludge by the way? What were you playing? So freaking hot. Problem is going to be actually hunting down the fleet as well. Look at that. How about you don't stand on my territory, you bastards? I should have killed that person at the beginning of the game, Jesus Christ. No silver world, please. The, the next, uh, next guy who becomes the leader of a third faction might be even worse, or third party.
Yeah, also, they just sit next to your cities or next to your armies, which is even worse. I don't know, like... Both of those are shit. Okay, now... Uh, yeah, he's gonna run away at once. Can we catch him? Yes, we can. Okay, so. Replace. Wait, that's not him. Okay, I need to make sure that's him. What the f... Oh, this is fucking nice. Popularis. The populists. Oh, Jesus Christ, game. Fuck you, game. Okay, his name is Marcus Florius Vitus. Is him. Let's get him killed. Enough is enough. What's up, Andrew? Thanks for the raid. I have no clue why the alerts don't show up anymore or at all. I guess th this playthrough is really Roman, man. What is more Roman than having political problems? Yeah, this is real Romany. Execution in the ocean. Yes. Sacrifice to the oars. Our foes are mostly. Our reinforcements have arrived. Or some similar womanly nonsense. This gives them little time for many pursuits useful in war. So prepare yourselves for the Our general is under attack. Take aim. He is. Hopefully he dies. I mean, I, I, if I have to, I'll lose the entire fleet, to be honest. You remember why you used to main them? Yeah, Soviets are fun. It can also be a lot fr a frustrating to play. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Come on. Yes. If he survives that somehow, that's gonna be fucking funny. Hopefully the AI is gonna be able to... What the f... The fuck are you doing? Oh, never mind. Units has used all its ammunition. One of our units has used all its ammunition. The enemy general. You do like playing with the allies as well because uh, I do have a bunch of the, the friends I played with. They just like the Germans. They don't want to play anything else. And I kind of want do want to mess around with all the other factions. Ready for duty. Made you do forty push-ups. <laughs> Thank you much, come on now. You're young. 
and for spry. It's wrong, right? Yeah, we should play as the allies. And by the way, if you if you haven't already, play a little bit of Imperium Pretoria. Or like you get the feel for it. You definitely wanna wait till you get the tier two. No, tier one or tier two military building, so you can actually get some decent armies in. Instead of just uh, playing with Town Watch. I think we're gonna play it on hard difficulty, not very hard or legendary. It's a bit more fun, it doesn't take a million years to complete. Why is this still going? I think our goal should be just, you know, reconquer the Western Roman part of the Roman Empire, right? Nothing more, nothing less. Should be easy enough. Since all the units are, you know, a bit OP. Just a bit. For Attila, especially. See ya, Paul. See ya, Andrew, as well. Good night. It is an honor to serve Rome. Oh, what the f... Really, game? Yeah, you dream about this. A fucking civil war. Look at that. Didn't even help it. What? Display through here. Fuck this. Honestly. This is gonna become annoying. see what happens now this little war starts Jesus let's see what happens how much shit I lose how much stuff they gain and so on
And if in the future, if I do play this, I'm gonna find a mod that disables the civil war. While the spirits of our ancestors have no use for What's up, Torin? Oh, I just sent a faction leader head, whatever the hell he's called, which is giving me problems to a battle. A suicide battle, that is, uh, with a fleet. But now I got a 97% chance of... 7% uh, uh, chance of civil war. And I might just give up on this playthrough at this point. Because at this point, uh, I'm just... I'm spending more time trying not to get the civil war than actually fighting or conquering. It is, it is becoming annoying, to say the least. Yeah, civil war indeed. Yeah, it's real shit just because uh, I need to hop islands to Corsica and Sardinia. If it does happen, I'm gonna lose the whole area, Illyria or the Balkans. shit these fuckers are blocking my way we hunger for battle let them cower ready for battle none will escape Many armies, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine armies. Ready for order. Yes. Are your backs in? Reporting. We cannot sail there. Get the blockade set up. Blockading. Yeah, it's all ten minutes to midnight, and I kind of don't want to deal with this, to be honest. Put so much time and effort in recruiting these two families that they hold like no fucking influence at all. Look at that. Yeah, well, I think all of them have 20 units. Well, most of them anyway, this one has a bit less. This one has only 9. Granted, there are like... Uh, Principes. But Principes are still decent. 
Yeah, look at that. Well, this guy is fucked. I have so many politicians out of all, like, the two families here, but they do fuck all. Yeah, the politics became, uh, become... I mean, it's good. It's not good, impossible to take all this over. I mean, it's pretty fucking easy. It's just gonna take a long-ass time to do it. Especially since, uh... I mean, this area is not gonna be a problem. But this is a long stretch. Then hopping to Sardinia and Corsica as well is gonna be annoying. So I think I'm going to end this here and then end this whole series here. So I might start a Warhammer campaign yeah! next time. And uh, me and Andrew are going to play Imperium Pretoria and Attila as well. So one of us is going to start off here in Syracuse, the other one here. Then we're going to conquer the basically the Roman Empire. Western and Eastern Roman Empire. So that's gonna be a series. Once him and I finish college and all that. It'll be in a week or two, something like that. Otherwise. Yeah, this is fun. This was fun. Until the political bullshit. Uh, let's see the summary. Yeah, the Civil War has really... Is there... Can we... Alright, oh, I don't think that's a thing here, right? Even the Imperium has went down to shit as well. But anyways... I think I'm gonna end this here. Since we had the first civil war that really slowed me down. It took a long time till I took back Africa. And now to do it, ha do half of that again is gonna be uh, a bit too annoying. Like I said, I'm gonna see which faction I'm gonna play for Warhammer Total War. But we'll see. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Have a good morning, good day, good night. See you next time. This is gonna be the end of this. Yeah, Theron, why not? Like at this point. Oh, this is gonna be a pain in the ass. I mean, the political problems have begotten, uh, gotten too much, I'd say. You know what I mean? A 
spend more time in the political screen than anything else. No, no problem, man. I mean, I will do this probably at, again at some point. This mod does get updated fairly... Well, not regularly, but does get updated. It's still in the works. So we are going to come back to this at some point. We're going to have another go at it. Hopefully this time I'm going to pay more attention to the politics, right? So we don't have these problems like look at the debuffs here might as well public order research well research way doesn't matter yeah i'm gonna play we're gonna play both of them total war i'm gonna play alone or warhammer that is war i'm gonna play alone and for uh attila me and uh, andrew the centurion over on twitch we're going to have a co-op campaign going with the Western Imperium Pretoria and the Eastern Roman Imperium Pretoria to reconquer Rome. So we're going to do that as well. Probably, I'm probably going to start the Warhammer campaign next week, so we'll see. And the streams will be left live, so you can check them out. I mean, if you want to watch any of the VODs, you can uh, hop on my Gilda server. I have a list over there. Yeah, online campaign, co-op campaign. One faction starts here and one faction starts here in Greece. Then we are going to like reconquer the Western and the Eastern Roman Empire. Probably on, uh, on hard difficulty because otherwise it might take too long to do that. At your command. Let them cower before Rome. Yeah, you hunger for battle. yeah Rome is still, we're gonna still play Rome. Me and him are Rome booze, I guess you could say. So that will still happen. It's not the end of Rome. That's for sure. Well, like I said, the politics here. Oh, Jesus Christ, look at these guys. The politics now just became a pain in the ass. Otherwise, I would probably still continue this. I mean, I would have conquered the whole of Greece and Britain by this point if there was no civil war. But anyways, like I said, thank you for watching. Have a good morning, good day, good night, and see you next time.